Hello again, and welcome to a new video on gut strings and gut string exercises. I'm Diederik, and today we're going to talk a little bit about finger pressure. So, on gut strings, uh, the string is going to feel... Oh. Hello again, I'm Diederik, and welcome to another video about gut strings. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, finger pressure. We're going to talk about the left hand. So the texture of a gut string is very different. Um, it feels very wiry to the touch. Sometimes it feels a little bit like a rope, depending on how thick the string is. Um, and uh, in order to travel across the string using the left hand, uh, we're going to have to be very, very light. And this is uh, lightness in, in the left hand is um, uh, important um, uh, on gut strings as well as uh, other kind of strings, synthetic strings. Um, if you're lighter on the string, you're going to be more nimble, you're going to have faster trills, you're going to have a more relaxed uh, vibrato, more relaxed um, um, sound. You're going to be able to do more and uh, spend less energy uh, doing those things. So all very important things to, to uh, keep in mind when playing the violin. So how do we practice this? How do we practice finger pressure? Um, well, in order to get a very light finger pressure, we're going to do a similar exercise that we did when we looked for a good sounding point and when we looked for uh, a nice uh, sound when we were practicing the Mesa di Voce in um, the video that I made about um, sound production earlier. So we're going to look for the point where, um, the, uh, where we get the sound that we want. So in order to do that, we're going to uh, start uh, on an open G string, or any open string, and slowly press the finger into the string until we hear a note. And um, so first we're going to hear the open string, and then as we press the first finger um, onto the string, we're going to first hear noise. And that's okay. We want to hear that noise because the noise is going to get us to uh, the lightest finger pressure that we can possibly have in order to play that note. So I'm going to play the open G string. Now I'm going to slowly press my first finger into the string. This is just my finger resting on the string. Then I'm going to slowly increase the pressure of the finger on the string until I have a note. Now I can increase the bow pressure but I don't need to increase the pressure of the finger on the string in order to create a sound. So that is the, the finger pressure that we're going to want when, um, uh, when, when we're playing the violin on all uh, fingers. So in this exercise, we're going to um, practice getting that sound, uh, getting that lightness, uh, that, th just that minimal finger pressure. Um, it's actually, uh, finger pressure is maybe not the right term, maybe it's just um, Finger, finger placement, because we're not really using any pressure to uh, place the finger on the string. So we're going to do that in rhythms, like uh, I have in the exercise. And um, remember when you... When you're practicing this slowly, when you're releasing the finger off the string, also lift the finger slowly. Then as you increase the tempo, you can lift the finger quicker. Also, when you're um, uh, practicing this trills, I recommend first placing the finger on the string slowly so you have a point of reference of where uh, that ideal finger pressure, finger placement is. And then when you practice uh, tr trills, make sure that you release the finger quickly. Uh, 
etc. So you're going to want to do this um, with all fingers and uh, all strings. Um, if you're practicing trills uh, and they're in a uh, piece, um, try to practice the trills in the same key as the uh, uh, piece that you're working on. So uh, take this exercise and then change the key so that uh, the uh, distances are the same as the piece that you're working on. Hope this was helpful to you and um, I'll see you next time.